return to CBC Television, Radio, Newsworld, and CBC.ca for the whole story delivered to you through more news services than ever before. CBC News, when you want it and how you want it. Welcome back. Uh, Calgary biotech firm Stem Cell Therapeutics is working on using stem cells to repair damage from strokes. Stroke, either bleeding or a clot on the brain, is the third leading cause of death worldwide. The company is far from getting the product on the market, but animal tests have been encouraging. Dave Sims reports. I'm going to step on you, Gizmo, if you don't get out of my way. Vicki Jones has suffered not one, but two strokes. The road back was long. It was a year that I really don't remember a lot about, other than hard work. Stroke is the hardest work you'll ever have to go through, I'm here to tell you. Right now, there is only one therapy, an anti-clotting drug, but it only works for 5% of strokes, and it has to be given within three hours. How soon is it before we're going to have a full protocol on this thing? Yet? But now, a Calgary company is working on a new therapy, which offers the hope of extending the treatment window to as long as 48 hours, helping many more people. Calgary's stem cell therapeutics is in trials on a new drug regimen to stimulate the body's own stem cells to move to the stroke site and develop into neural cells. Without the regimen, you've got a big hole in the brain. With the regimen, that hole is filled. It worked on rats, but even stem cell therapeutics doesn't know how function is restored. That's up to the brain. You know, really, I mean, it sounds like a silly answer, but, you know, in some way or another, the brain is doing that itself. Brian Kolb is with the Canadian Centre for Behavioural Neuroscience. He's following this closely. We know they don't turn into tumours. We know they turn into the right kind of tissue. We don't know if this is true in very large brains like ours. One challenge, integrating the regenerated part with the rest of the brain. Not easy, given human brains take 18 years to mature. You don't want to wait 18 years for you to get this stuff back, right? You want it back yesterday. And so uh, what the challenge is, is to try and accelerate this in a way that works. Other challenges? Designing the trials properly, holding on to investors through at least six years of trials, and hoping no competitor beats it to the punch. Jones welcomes the possibility of another therapy. The extending the treatment would be just absolutely huge for any stroke survivor. But says also important is education, given that most strokes are preventable with proper diet and lifestyle. Dave Sims, CBC News, Calgary. And joining us to talk about the rest of today's market.